one kind of joking about uh, should Christopher Ray, the FBI director, be waterboarded for his uh, lack of answers during the Brett Bear interview. And the only thing he said was to confirm the lab leak, which was which was great. But I really hated that smug weasel face when he's trying to dodge questions about how many people were, uh, how many informants were in the January 6th crowd. Did the FBI have undercover agents or paid informants or assets among the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th? Well, as I'm sure you can appreciate, Brett, I can't really appropriately talk about when, where, and how we use confidential informants. Um, and I know there were a, a couple of other ones that he was just dodging the question with his little smirk on his face. And uh, to be fair, Brett Bear did ask him, he said, is that classified? Are you not allowed to say that? And he's like, no, but that's... Is it classified? Well, we have information that is uh, about any number of topics that is law enforcement sensitive. It just, you know, FBI policy never to comment on certain things. And I'm so sick of that BS answer. So it just would it would be funny in theory just to see Brett Bear be like, well, uh, we tried to do this the easy way. And then just to, just to waterboard him. I, I want answers. <laughs> I want to know what happened on J6. We all know you had informants Again. there. Stop gaslighting. I would love to see so that. Sick. Like, you know, Brett Bayer yeah. of, of all the people on Fox, he looks like... If you're watching Futurama or something and, and you you wheeled out a, a news reporter bot, like a robot that's a that's a news reporter, he just strikes me as like the news reporter bot. He seems, I don't know, he like rolled off the assembly line, chiseled from a yeah. like I could see him literally pinning down Ray and in waterboarding him during an interview because he's a robot. He's programmed to do what what he's told to like I could I could just imagine that. Um yeah, these, these intelligence officials, they're just they're getting caught on lie upon they, they can't even keep it straight there were there were times that people were wondering if christopher ray was a good guy if he was on the inside if he was going to be part of the the big revelation and he's he's going to expose what's going on i mean yeah he, he's done this before he, he gets called in front of congress and he either dodges questions or he sends one of his underlings like oh sorry christopher ray couldn't make it today but we brought in this assistant this lackey who's just gonna sit there and play stupid well i'm sorry sir we're not fbi is not allowed to answer that and unfortunately chris ray is not here i'm just so sick of their smug arrogance they, they work for us Tag you know, the Americans and the taxpayers, and I'm sick of them dodging questions like that. Uh, but you should not read into my inability to answer a question because of my obligations. So over 60 percent of likely voters believe that undercover government agents provoked the January 6th. Right? There, there's something going on here. So there's provocateurs involved that got uh, and they, they agitated the crowd there. They were just shooting gas in their um, flashbangs and, and such like that. They were they were it seemed like they were and they were letting people in. Here's another uh, story I wanted to discuss. Department of Justice video showing Capitol Police holding open the terrorist doors, 250 individuals allowed to walk in, and then later they were arrested and abused. So this kind of stuff really makes me angry and sick. And I know the FBI does not want to uh, release that and say, oh, yeah, by the way, Ray Epps and all of these other people that were uh, causing problems, pushing against the gates, uh, roughing up with the cops, uh, pushing barriers down or what have you. Oh, it looks like it's uh, very possible that some of those people were actual government uh, agitators. But uh, that's why I'm frustrated with the guy like Christopher Ray. Yeah, supposed to be a good guy. Imagine if like Dan Bongino was like in head of the FBI or something. Then we could actually get could stuff you imagine done. If we had competent, responsible uh like a red-blooded american that cares about our country and wants to go after the bad people except now it's like the the corrupt elements of our country have placed these people at the top so that they, they protect their own instead of going after them so we should know more about the epstein or going after all of these uh predators that are out there but we're not we're protecting them and so, yeah, Bill Barr and Chris Ray were, were a major letdown. So, no, I don't want them waterboarded per se, but I have to kind of joke about it because I'm so irritated.
pardon the uh, waterboarding pun, but there's been a slow drip of information coming out with these J6 tapes. Uh, more and more, obviously, Tucker Carlson has been given unfettered, complete access to 44,000 hours of it, and we're waiting for the rest of, of, of us to have access as well. But each day, more and more is kind of coming out. I don't know how it's getting out, but more and more footage is now being seen on a daily basis. And the fact that Pelosi and these these, these people have been hiding this this footage while people are rotting in prison for nonviolent crimes um you, you know th this is this is a, this is a sad black eye uh for america the fact that so many people have been persecuted and are still suffering uh for nonviolent these doors were opened and they're being pushed and they walked through like this this is not a capital offense